in Total Revenue Service IRS Tax News. Taxpayers can now upload documents to IRS. New online option for nine notices can help resolve issues faster. No, oh, here we go again. The IRS can get documents fast. You know what that means. The IRS is going to want more documents and personal information. Why? Because they can. Because it's easier. It's like, get off my back, IRS. Dang it. Did you really have to break so much furniture? You tell me, Chief. You had a pretty good view from behind your desk. Honestly. And I assume you're going to have to send, like, the IRS a doctor's note if you want to miss a day of work. Like when you were in high school and wanted to spend a day at the beach or something. You're off the case, McGonagall. You're off your case, Chief. What does that mean, exactly? It means he gets results, you stupid Chief! Dad, sit down. Oh, I'm sorry. They're like, what? Having your hand bitten off by a Rottweiler is no excuse for missing work. <laughs> Who would do such a thing? <laughs> oh, it's hard to tell. Be a roving gang of thugs, a blackmailer, an angry husband, a gay lover. <laughs> Frank, get a hold of yourself. The big guy wants his 10%, dang it, or 15 or 25 or what. We'll let you know what the percent is when the time comes. We at the IRS only accept legitimate excuses. You know, like, like if you were some kind of like world-class athlete or something like that in prime physical health and you didn't want to go to work for fear of getting like COVID, that would be a totally valid and legitimate excuse for missing work, but not this whole Rottweiler hand thing. I mean, it's like, honestly, it's ridiculous. It's enough to make you want to cry like a six-year-old girl who just lost her Piplon Pokemon birthday balloon. And then, just after she's been calmed down and convinced Piplon Pokemon has been set free, she then watches in horror as an F-15 shoots the beloved Piplon Pokemon out of the sky with a $100,000 Sidewinder missile. Poor girl. She still carries a piece of that Piplon Pokemon super cute, huge, left severed eye as a reminder of her lost friend. For God's sakes, I've even got my father's eyes. Help her, please. Yeah, they're just for luck. But for my birthday, though, I plan on releasing like 50 balloons so we can have a free air show slash fireworks show at the same time. Because I figure, you know, as long as they're not actual Chinese spy balloons, the Biden administration is sure to shoot them down. After all, they, they don't want any floating debris up there to disrupt the path of the actual Chinese spy balloons, you know? Because, like, like if the actual Chinese spy balloon got off course or something because of the debris up there, then the Chinese might get mad at us. Possibly causing them to shut down TikTok or something. You know, and that would be horrible. Because if they shut down TikTok, the administration would have no way of knowing which social influencers to invite to the White House. Or worse, the Chinese might activate the secret TikTok clone protocol 66, turning TikTok users crazy. Wait a second. I think they already did that. Whatever. On to the news. IR 2023-29, February 16, 2023, Washington. The Internal Revenue Service announced today that taxpayers who receive certain notices requiring them to send information to the IRS now have the option of submitting their documentation online through irs.gov, 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 V for victory over, over tax stuff. This new secure step will allow taxpayers or their tax professional to electronically upload documents rather than mailing them in, helping reduce time and effort resolving tax issues. So that should be an easier thing to do. But again, every time something gets easier, my fear is just like when we had the tax software and making it more easily to make payments, the forms actually get longer and they want more information on the form. And the argument, of course, will be that it's easy to do now. It's easier to give us your life story in the form of a tax return on a yearly basis, right? Whereas when it was more difficult, at least you had the option of being able to say, or the excuse of saying, I don't need to give you all this kind of information. So I think that's part of what we're gonna have to deal with going forward. The ease of giving the government more information, just like with these social media companies. And then even though we have the ease and the capacity of doing so, being able to say no, 
Why? Because I don't want to give you my life story on a yearly basis on a freaking tax return or whatever document you have. In any case, so in this stage of ongoing effort, nine notices will be available for this feature. This potentially can help more than 500,000 taxpayers each year who receive these notices, which include military personnel serving in combat zone areas and recipients of important credits like the earned income tax credit and child tax credit. Quote, this uh, capability is another step forward by the IRS to help taxpayers and improve service. End quote, said IRS Acting Commissioner Doug O'Donnell. Quote, this provides immediate benefits to taxpayers who have nearly instant confirmation that documents were received by the IRS. And I got to say that does sound better from a person that has dealt with the IRS a lot in the past, which was just kind of ridiculous of sending them in something in snail mail or trying to fax it over even after the age of the fax machine had long passed. You're still kind of faxing stuff over there, which again, is seems somewhat uh, absurd at this point in time. But, so there's pros and cons to it. So, in turn, this will dramatically speed up the resolution of, in, of, of issues by removing a time-consuming step in the process. This means people can have their issues resolved much faster, including getting refunds to affected taxpayers faster. We will continue to look at improvements like this as we work to transform the IRS following passage of the Inflation Reduction Act last year. So maybe they're spending at least some of that money that they're supposed to be spending on reducing inflation, but actually went like to the IRS and other places and whatnot. Maybe they're actually spending that money in a way that's somewhat, you know, somewhat effective here. This looks like a, this does look like an improvement type of thing. Faxing stuff in at this day and age is not what any business does. Businesses don't have like fax machines anymore. You know, those, <laughs> but in any case. Uh, uh, initially, the online correspondence feature will be available to taxpayers who receive one of nine IRS notices. For the most part, the IRS sends these notices to individual tax filers claiming various tax benefits, such as the earned income tax credit or low and moderate income workers for low and moderate income workers. There's a link to that here. The child tax credit, there's a link to that here for families with dependents. The premium tax credit, there's a link to that here for those who obtain wealth coverage through the health insurance marketplace and members of the military claiming combat zone tax benefits. Now, one of the reasons you would think the IRS might follow up on these particular items is because these are the items that often have a refundable component to them and are the ones that are most likely targeted by people trying to do identity theft and use tax returns in order to steal money, in essence. Taxpayers receiving these notices can respond securely to IRS online regardless of whether they have an IRS online account. There's a link to the online account so you could set that up as well. IRS created the document upload tool. IRS information technology specialists developed a pro prototype for the document upload tool in 2021. Since then, the IRS has been testing this feature on a limited number of exam related notices and 38% of the responses to these notices have used the agency's secure electronic communications rather than traditional mail. So how it works, language on the notice informs the taxpayers to quote, send us your documents using the documentation upload tool within 30 days from the date of this notice, end quote. So on the notice, it might give you the option to give them the information. You know, they have the same kind of framework if you get a notice from the IRS, they usually give you that through the snail mail, through the actual mail, but they might have the thing that says you can reply to us online instead of sending us back in a correspondence on the snail mail or trying to call it in and fax it in possibly it used to be kind of another approach that uh, could be taken in some cases. So it includes the link and a unique access code. So the taxpayer can open the link in any browser and then input their unique code, their first and last name and their social security, individual taxpayer identification or employee identification number. The taxpayer can then securely upload scans, photos, or digital copies of documents, maximum of 15 megabytes per file, up to 40 files. The taxpayer receives a confirmation that the IRS received their documents and the IRS employees assigned the case can manage the transmitted documents. So it seems like a fairly basic thing. <laughs> that, I mean, that's nice that they implemented, 
that I mean it's kind of like it seems like they could have so that's good it's a good it's a good move you would think what notices qualify taxpayers who receive one of the following notices with the link and access code can choose to upload their documents so if you get a CP04 there's links to these notices these are kind of standardized IRS notices so you might want to check them out just to get an idea of standard notices that relates to combat zone status cp05a information request related to a refund you got the cp06 and cp06a relating to premium tax credit you got the cp08 relating to the child tax credit you got some cp09 related to claiming the earned income tax credit the cp75 related to the eitc earned income tax credit the cp75a also related to the eitc earned income tax credit and the cp p75d also related to the earned income tax credits and other credits so future expansion planned in the coming months and years the irs plans to expand this capacity to dozens of other notices in addition the irs will offer digital correspondence on a variety of other taxpayer interactions during live interactions such as phone calls with taxpayers IRS employees will be able to grant upload access by providing the link and unique access code. With secure digital correspondence, everyone wins. It's a win, 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 win for like everyone, they say. I don't know. Whenever someone says it's a win, win, I kind of feel like that's, I, I, I don't know, a little either over optimism is happening here or, or there's some manipulation oftentimes. Now, I'm not saying there's never a win, win situation, but you know i think the word i think the term gets thrown around a little flippantly but whatever for taxpayers and tax professionals working with the irs this new capa uh, capability reduces correspondence burden ensures tax compliance and improves the customer experience for irs employees this reduces paper correspondence decreases processing time and speeds case resolution so for more information you can see the fact sheet 2023-05 irs expands secure digital correspondence for taxpayers there's a link to that there's links to all those correspondence letters and other stuff and there'll be a link to this in the description